comments. In this video, I will be addressing your comments, criticisms, compliments, questions. What energy you bring here, I will return to you with the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the possession of peace and neutrality. Keep in mind, no one is twisting your arm to be here, so keep that in mind. If you are going to make claims or if you are choosing to not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, well then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, I don't ever take anything personally here. I recommend that you do the same. What I'm saying in this comments video is a critique based upon using the lens of correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar i.e. quantum grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. Keep that in mind. Everything I say is pretty much through that lens. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Hey there, folks. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for this comments video. Let's get right to it. The first comment comes from someone named ganzer Einer, And they say, Greetings from reality. If John Quincy or Jason hyphen Matthew is the fact, is connected to the fact, the man. And if the name added to this real name, Jason Matthew, the name belonging, belonging, I guess, to the secular state. Okay, now, folks. Right away, when, when I'm reading this as a grammar tutor, someone that's been teaching correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar for six years, doing it every day, all right? When I see stuff like this, this tells me that this individual, ganzer Einer, has zero or less than zero quantum grammar knowledge. Because right away, they start using words like greetings from reality. The real name, okay? They're trying, okay, they're going to go into some other things that you, if you're reading it right now, before I'm reading it out loud, you can see that they're trying to say something about something they know nothing about, which is quantum grammar. And so they're using a word like real. RE means no. AL means contract. So real is no contract. So it's basically saying, and if the name added to this no contract name, Jason Matthew, blah, 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 belong, the name belonging to the secular state. How do they know what a name belongs to? Okay. Jason hyphen Matthew, colon, Jason hyphen Matthew, colon, space, glass, period, is copyright in upper and lowercase, the first letter of each fact capitalized. The rest of the, the facts are lowercase. The letters are lowercase. That's copyright copy claim to me as a live life claimant. I am the steward of that name, or to use a fiction term, I own that name. It's, it's mine, that punctuated name. No one, not Ganser, not you, not anyone else can tell me what my name is. I am the authority of that. I authored it. I copyright copy claimed it using correct grammar. That's the end of the story. So this individual is positioned from a fiction condition of state in their formatory apparatus because they're definitely not speaking from a correct grammar lens point of view. So the secular state is the world of fiction. The last name, family name, doe or debtor or glass is the connection and consent to the fiction. Maybe for Ganser Einer that is the case, but it is not the case for me. And ever since I started doing this six years ago, it has never been the case for me in those six years. There is no connection. The only connection I have to the fiction are those fiction documents that I tow as salvages using my correct name to tow those fiction names as salvages. So my simple question is, why is anyone using CSS CPSG with a name meaning Jason Matthew Glass equals for the fact of the fiction? Yeah, 
now now they're trying to use I think word games. Although with the balance in your honor and grace, I don't think English is this individual's first language, judging by the way they're wording things. Without correction of that error, how can anything be claimed or stated with that error name to be a statement of truth or fact at all? Well, first of all, Ganser, you have to know what a fact is. And it appears to me, as someone who's been doing this for six years, you don't have closure on what a fact is. And you certainly don't have closure on grammar or how to position a word as a fact. Okay? You seem to be rooted in a fiction mindset. To be true and correct, we should never merge truth with fiction. That's impossible. It's either fact or fiction. Just take, for example, all of these words you typed out here. They're all adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. All of it is fiction babble. You are communicating literally with plain English fiction babble. Please stop and correct. <laughs> you must be talking to yourself. Go look in a mirror and repeat what you just said. Okay? Because before you come here, you must have knowledge of what you're speaking of. And you don't have knowledge when you're speaking of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. I see no evidence of it. Dear viewer, folks out there, do you see any evidence that this individual knows anything about correct sentence structure? Because if you don't know about what you're talking about, then how can you have a position? So I'm basically, this is basic me speaking about this is basically the sound of one hand clapping. And then they say, thank you. Oh, uh, maybe they're a troll and they're purposely trying to step on my corns or something. Because they basically just said, please and thank you. So they're assuming I'm going to do what they say and take their advice. When actually I'm going to use sign language to respond to that little statement there. Uh, please stop and correct. Thank you. Here's my sign language to this person. And by the way, life begins with fertilization and not some seven days later with conception. What is this person referring to? Let me, let me look back up here. I don't know where they're getting that from because I don't think this video up there that they're commenting on has anything to do with that. Um, personally, on my live life claim, I claim stewardship of the vessel from the point of creation from the spark of creation, from when this became a thing in this realm, in this domain, inside of my mother. Whether it existed somewhere else, outside the mother, I don't have any closure on that, so I'm not going to claim something I don't have closure on. With these two corrections to the claim of life and without any fictional claim. Now this person is trying to tell people how to do a claim of the life when they know jack shit about the grammar. So I'm just going to stop there. I thought I'd do a little interesting uh, response to it. A little Kuliana. So Ganser, I mean, can take it how they want to. Uh, I highly recommend that they learn about correct sentence structure before they decide to open their mouth on this channel next time. Next comment comes from Pi314. And they say, For the claimant's cogitation of the facts is with the claim of the joy and gratitude with this channel owner's performance of the Kuliana with the sight and audio sensations by the Kenneth Wayne. Which, it's a pretty good sentence. The positional sequencing is correct. Uh, I do see particles of negation in the facts like owner, O-W. Vow in front of a consonant at the beginning of the word is no contract. And uh, also, and th these are just little things, by the way, because this, this is a wonderful sentence. In brackets, you have colon caltan. There should be a space between this colon and caltan. And that's the thing. Once you get to this level in... You're advanced with your correct sentence structure. Well, I don't know if Kenneth is advanced or not. 
they could be anywhere from intermediary to advanced intermediary, uh, judging by things that I've seen from them. But I don't know for sure. You've got to start paying attention to the little details. If it is important enough for you to type it out using this grammar, then it's good to be as correct as you possibly can. Uh, from my position, I never half-ass it because this grammar is sacred to me. The next comment comes from Magical Fluid Process, and they say, Seems to me most likely an ego issue. He has been seduced by the dark side of the Force. A Jedi, he is not. Just a human. Okay, this comes from a post that I put up in my community section talking about the claim of the live life, how it was available to all for free prior to uh, 2018, prior to David Miller passing away. And then after David passed, all of a sudden his protege and student came forward and began slandering David and then began charging money for a claim of the live life that has incorrect grammar on it. So that's what they're commenting on. I asked, uh, I gave a poll to ask people to guess or to give their thoughts on why Russell did that. And then they say, it's a great question, Jason. One, we can only speculate on, obviously. Obviously. Maybe he is just struggling to make ends meet. Struggling to make ends meet is not an excuse for screwing people over and running a scam. The most likely answer to me is he's drunk on the power he feels he has. That's a possibility. An overactive ego, but he might have people in his ear, akin to a sports agent perhaps, telling him how great he is all the time and that he deserves bigger contracts, knowledge is power, and power corrupts. I disagree that power corrupts. Power does not corrupt. People are either corrupt or they're not. It's a choice. Um, the more power or potency that someone gets, just like Spider-Man says, you know, the more accountability you have. And as it stands, Russell doesn't take any accountability for anything he does. Proof of that is I personally know of people. One of them, I will say, is Lady Crown. Uh, when I was interacting with the Purple Thumb community a few years ago, uh, her she came to me with a story where she said that she had contacted Russell J. Gould and wanted to work with him, so on and so forth, and... He told her how to get a claim of the live life from him. So her and her husband ordered, I think for 300 bucks, two claims, two live life claims from Muriel Meta Biggs. And when they got them, they, you know, because she's a sharp lady, Lady Crown noticed there were mistakes on it. And so she asked Russell about the mistakes on the claim of the live life. And his response was, to paraphrase, his response was, Oh, I don't have anything to do with that. You have to talk to the people that sell it. I don't have anything to do with that. As if he's not the one that authored the live life claim. Because I saw that live life claim. And it's the exact same template that Russell himself sent me in 2017 when I contacted him. He sent me a live life claim template. Never said I had to pay for it. Never said I needed his permission to use grammar or anything like that. He just sent me the template. And it's the exact same one that was sold to Lady Crown for 300 bucks. Her and her husband. With the mistakes and all on it. But he took zero accountability for it. So he said that she had to work it out with Muriel Meta Biggs or whoever. And then, of course, you know, well, however that turned out is however it turned out. So I think it's, uh, he does surround, I, in my opinion, I think he does surround himself with yes men and women. And he lives in a little bubble, I think, of worshipers that worship him and hang on his every last word. If you've ever attended one of his meetings or one of his followers meetings, whether you want to call that the Red Thumb Club, whether you want to call that Quantum Community, whether you want to call that Syntax Learning Center, Whatever they revenue themselves as this week, if you attend one of their meetings, you will see that the people will use him as sort of like the be-all, end-all of what they're talking about. 
Like this person will say, well, I just talked to Russell yesterday and he said this. And then someone else will say, well, no, I just talked to him tonight and he said this. And it's like it's a it's a contest to see who spoke to Russell the most and who has the, the best and latest juiciest bits that dropped out of Russell's mouth. Hi, Jason. I agree with point one and point two partially. My reasoning is that to fall prey to one's own corruption would not be an obvious choice for the weak-willed. It would be a subconscious compulsion based upon fear. Okay, first of all, what is subconscious magical fluid process? Is this subconscious? Can this be certified? What does subconscious mean? Sub means no. So it means not conscious. So you're talking about something that comes from not consciousness. So how can you even talk about it? Subconscious is based on assumption presumption. So you're basically putting a presumption into it that it's a compulsion that comes from an unconscious part of you. Well, how can an unconscious part of anything do anything? You see my point? Everything is a choice. You have a choice when you're conscious. When you're unconscious, I can't speak for it because I don't know about not being conscious. I don't have memories of not having possession of consciousness or, or not being participating with consciousness because when you're unconscious, you're not conscious. <laughs> Demonstrate strong conscious will or has the innate power to act only in honor would see the choice. I can only agree with then your second point relative to the character of the individual. Well, if we take all the assumption presumption out of it, my both of my points stand and, and are not able to be challenged without participating with assumptions. Next comment comes from For the Claimant, and they say, It is hard to say what Russell's reasons are. I can only certify my own volition. Okay, this is a comment on the same community post. Honorable conduct and consistency in the reliability of someone's word definitely go a long way in creating a clearer picture of an individual and their intentions. But certain circumstances can bring some individuals to reveal their true colors. Fear, greed, and selfish desires eventually seep into the picture someone paints of themselves. I found Russell's comments on David after his death very telling, plus Russell's anger and emotional rants speak volumes to me. Same here. I see Russell as a deterrent in the credibility of correct sentence, structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, gaining people's attention via emotional stimulation, almost creating a barrier for logical thinkers who might be able to cognize the technology had they been given closure on the grammar mechanics and the psychology of the rule one rule equal. Well, James, I agree with you 100%. Thank you for that comment. Very eloquently stated. Next comment comes from Jakanu. Okay, I can't pronounce that. Apologies. They say, I have watched many of your uploads many times and hope that I will be able to prioritize my time more efficiently this year to fully learn this under your tutelage. This will be my first CSS CPSG attempt in public forum. For the closure of the CSS CPSG is with the in brackets option four by the evidence of the 888 videos. Your criticism is much anticipated and appreciated, Kobe. All right, Kobe. Well, let's take a look at your sentence here. For the closure of the CSS CPSG, okay, so that CSS CPSG, we don't know what that is. Normally it would be abbreviated, and if you're going to use the letters, then you would have to put a period after the C, then a hyphen, then the S, then a period after the S, and a hyphen, so on and so forth. And then, if your platform that you're using allows for it, you would have to underline that as a compound abbreviation. Is with the and then you have a space, a bracket, option number four, and then a bracket, and then a space. So we know that uh, through different styles manuals and cross-referencing from different um, grammar rules, that whatever is in brackets falls under the rule of boxing, and it's not there. 
So what you literally have there is with the space, space, by. So you have a double space between the and by, which is a break in the continuance of the evidence, which is not correct. So that throws the whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. And then you have the authority is by the evidence, particle of negation, vowel in front of a consonant, E in front of the V in evidence. That's no contract. And then you follow the authority with a concern, which the sentence would have to end on by the whatever you're going to put. It wouldn't have an of the after it. Because backwards when you read it, it would say then with the 888 videos for the evidence, which makes no sense and voids the mathematical interface. Also, the compound fact, I, I'm guessing you want tilde 888 videos to be a compound fact. You would have to have a hyphen between the 8 and the V in videos. So there you go. Uh, one more thing I have to point it out. You put Y-O-U apostrophe R-E criticism, which basically means you are criticism as much anticipated. You wouldn't need the apostrophe between the U and the R there, and you wouldn't have the E at the end. You would just have it Y-O-U-R, your criticism, not apostrophe R-E. Thank you for the comment, and kudos for your first attempt on correct sentence structure in a public forum. Next comment comes from Pascal, for the Pascal, and he says, colon, Jason, period. I certify this by judging the grammar performance. Oh, okay. So they're commenting on a post where I took a poll. I think it was, uh, who possesses closure on correct sentence structure? And I put Mark Cachon, Mark Lowercase K Cachon, Christopher's picture there. I put Russell J. Gould's picture there. I put David Wynn Miller's picture there. And then I put my picture there. And so Pascal is choosing me. And he certifies it by judging the grammar performance, meaning Pascal is one of my best students. So he can certify me because he knows how to use correct sentence structure. Thank you, Pascal. Next comment comes from For the Claimant. And they say, I have chosen you, Jason, uh, having closure on the grammar. Reason being, every performance and grammar mechanic within your construct is given closure in the multiple video logs upon your YouTube page vessel. Your tuition covers the grammar, explaining punctuation, correct sentence, structure, parsing syntax, and how to apply continue to the evidence. Your channel gives the reasons why in regards to every order of operations. There are no false claims. Everything you claim can be proven. Thank you very much for those kind words. I appreciate that, and I appreciate your membership. Next comment comes from Monte Richards, and they say, For the claim of the correct closure is with the proof of forensic facts by the claimant. I have no idea what they're talking about here. For the claimant with forensic... Okay, yeah, so that's not correct sentence structure. That is fiction babble. We're missing some lodials here. You're missing the lodial between of and forensic facts. Proof is no contract because it has PRO in it, which means no. So, yeah, I don't really know. They're, they're, they appear to be claiming that they have collect, correct closure, but on what they have correct closure on is a mystery. Next comment comes from Ega0117, and they say, Getting sleepy. I use this video to help me fall asleep. Well, I'm glad to be of service. Thank you for your viewership. It's too bad cops will never understand quantum grammar. Well, Ega, just because you don't understand it doesn't mean other people won't understand it. Holy projection, Batman. Next comment comes from F-T-O-H-I-T-I. -I, F Tohiti 85 and they say, I've done the due diligence of verification. Folks, friends and neighbors, children of all ages, please let me welcome my friend, brother, and tutor, colon Raven, hyphen Farhide, hyphen Tohiti, colon Aferin, to the chat room. This is Raven. This is my tutor, and here he is blessing me with his 
verification of my knowledge of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar, which then certifies his knowledge of the same. So thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Much love. Next comment comes from Facts Are Facts, and they say, for this claimant's knowledge of the facts is, with the claim of the correct navigation with the continuum station of the Jason hyphen Matthew channel with this humble conveyance by this claimant vessel, Jerry Martin. Well, thank you very much, Jerry. There's just a couple small punctuation issues with your sentence here. The word facts does not need an apostrophe. However, claimant's knowledge does. And if it's one claimant that you're claiming, then the apostrophe would go between the T and the S. Claimant's knowledge, because claimants would be possessing the knowledge in that compound fact. And the Jason hyphen Matthew hyphen channel, you would have to have an apostrophe S after the W and before the hyphen to show that Jason Matthew is the channel, whose channel it is. And then with this humble conveyance by this claimant, comma, vessel, you would have to have a space after the comma. Between the comma and vessel, you'd have to have a space there. The way I would actually write that would be claimant, forward slash, vessel, comma, space, Jerry hyphen Martin, period. That's how I would write it. Thanks for the comment and thanks for your membership, Jerry. Appreciate it. Next comment comes from Di Cameron and they say, I'm not pouncing, LOL. There is no 412 scenario, is that correct? So they're referring to a verbalization that I was making in a video where I was stopping and correcting a syntax error that I made where I think the syntax scenario was it went uh, four, one, two, four, I think. The mistake was the two. It should have been a three. Four, one, three, four. And I said, there is no one, two, four scenario. There is no four, one, two scenario. When what I meant to say was there is no four, one, two, four scenario. I left out that four at the end. It was a verbal mishap. Because when you look at what I'm typing on the screen in that video at that timestamp and what I'm highlighting, it's obviously 4124 that I'm highlighting and I'm saying it's not 4124. I just didn't say the four at the end. So, okay, so this is how I respond. I say, I love it when someone pre-qualifies their comment. And what I mean by that is Di said, I'm not pouncing, LOL. It's like someone coming up to you and saying, you know, not to criticize, but, and then they end up criticizing you, or they say, no disrespect, but, and then they, in turn, disrespect you. And so, Di had to pre-qualify it by saying, I'm not pouncing. In my humble view, I think just coming out and asking a question without pre-qualifying would uh, probably work better, at least with someone like me. Just get straight to the point. It's like my son. My son will be like, hey, Dad, can I ask you a question? And I'll say, I don't know, son. Can you? Are you capable of that? <laughs> oh, it bugs me. Just ask me the question, bro. Don't ask me if you can ask me a question. <laughs> that's what pre-qualification is. If that's what verbally came out of my mouth, then your question is rhetorical which I just explained. What do you think happened? P.S. Based upon what is highlighted in the video, I meant to say there is no 124 scenario. There is no 4124 scenario. But I'll leave that to the discerning advanced students to apply the balance of the honor and the grace. And that's that. Thanks for the comment, Di. Next comment comes from Ian, Ivan, a living, I'm going to guess, man. And they say, as I said in a previous comment, I started this path with Russell's claim of the live, claim of the live of the life, and take me one year to realize that all his narrative and ways to get all the power of your claim of the live life, it's a business running on the states. 
If I want to get a C line or port contract, I have to pay a presencial workshop on any city of the U.S. I'm not sure what that means. Now, I know for you, Jason, that those pieces of papers are bullshit. Believe me when I say you save me a lot of money and time with this knowledge. Just want to share with you guys my experience and how frustrated I feel when you pay a class with one of those postmasters authorized by Russell and you receive an answer like a, I don't know, or we have to ask Russell about that. Really? Have to be a bad joke, but it isn't. Thank you, Jason, for this video and for your efforts. My mother language is Spanish, so thanks for understanding my bad gra grammar. Greetings from Colombia. Hola, le. Del uno. Um, I will say that this comment and the way they describe their interaction with Russell's people, it's a very common thing. I get a lot of people from Russell's neck of the woods that come to me frustrated that Russell's authorized teachers don't have answers, don't have closure. And they all have to refer to Russell or try to contact Russell, which is a logical fallacy appeal to authority to get any type of answers to any type of questions. And it's so hard to get a hold of Russell that do they actually ever get an answer? I mean... <laughs> But folks, here's the solution. That, that's the problem. Here's the solution. This channel, almost 900 videos over here, all free for you to study. Or you can contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and apply for a workshop. Unlike those people, I will give you answers. I will give you closure. I will look you in your eye and answer your question. That's the best, most efficient way to transmit knowledge is either in person or looking across each other through a video screen where we can see each other's reactions and facial expressions and so on and so forth. Best way to get closure. Next comment comes from Glorice. Thank you for your membership, Glorice. And they say, greetings, Jason, on the values going backwards. Is and are seemed like they were rotate. I have a claimant and a witness. Glorice, I'm, I have to ask you to be a little bit more clear on that. I really have no idea what you're asking me there. But thank you for the comment, and I hope that you do rephrase that and uh, send it through again, and I will answer you once I comprehend what it is you're conveying. Next comment comes from Matt Matthew Allen, and they say, Quantum grammar is just bastardized English, Ask Robert, as Robert Gould will tell you himself. And then I say, how to say you don't know anything about correct sentence structure without actually admitting it. English is a language. Correct sentence structure is a grammar technology. Who is Robert Gould? At this stage, I have no idea what this person's talking about. I'm thinking in my head they might be mistaking Robert Gould for Russell Gould. But I don't think so now that I've looked at other comments from this individual. This individual went on to mitigate their ideas about English, its bastardization, and slave names. And so this individual is obviously a, um, I guess, a follower of Romley Stewart, maybe, which tells me they know nothing about correct sentence structure. So they're trying to tell us what quantum grammar is when they don't know jack shit about quantum grammar to begin with. So it's just another individual trying to dismiss something they know absolutely nothing about. Next comment comes from Mark Lee Civic Duty, and they say, for the claimant's knowledge, okay, so we're missing an apostrophe there. We're missing a hyphen there. For the claimant's knowledge of the facts are, okay, so our verb is incorrect because claimant's knowledge is singular. The verb should be is. With the damage claims, okay, again, no hyphen. So, I don't see any hyphens at all in this. So at first I was I was giving the balance of the honor and the grace. Oh, it might be a typo. They might have forgot it. But no, they make the mistake consistently. So this is not quantum grammar, folks. This is not correct sentence structure communication. This is adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. 
with a few decorative colons thrown in there. Of the grammar with the volition by the Vasilis for the sabotage of this contract with Vessel's life for the methods of the identity. Oh my goodness. Particles and negation in the facts. Frankensteining. Oh my goodness. I wonder what their dictionary finite mean of <laughs> it's for Frankensteining with the particle of negation in the ING, the particle of negation MIS, the particle of negation vowel in front of a consonant in identity, the particle of negation contra and contract. I could go on and on. Mark Lee, Civic Duty, if you want to learn correct sentence structure, feel free to study the almost 900 videos on this channel or contact me at the, you guessed it, email address at the bottom of your screen. And the final comment comes from Quadruple A, regular commenter and member. Thank you very much for your membership. And they say, hi, Jason. This is a very bold one. There he goes again. He loves to put the double R in the very. But indeed, I voted that you are the one having closure on the grammar. I do not have closure myself, but I can see with my little bit of knowledge that I do have. The questions I have due to my lack of closure aside, I can surely say it makes sense to me. And that's why I say that you, Jason Matthew Glass, have closure on the grammar. It still messes with my head that Russell has no closure or teaches in a way that makes no sense. Mark Lowercase K has some interesting videos as well. But as far as closure on the grammar, I would say he does not have that. Let me say once more that I myself do not have closure myself. Kind regards to all. Well, thank you for that humility. I appreciate that. And I honor someone that expresses humility in such a fashion. Um, I wish you well on your correct set and structure journey. I thank you for your membership. And I thank everybody for their comments. And I thank you for joining me. If you would like to learn correct set and structure communication, parse syntax, grammar, I offer several choices. The first one, and the easiest one, is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. The second option, if you want to see new content, is to click the Join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching. Click the Join button, and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the Loyalist Contributor tier, and you join that for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content, exclusive content not available to the public every month. But keep in mind, there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study. And the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen. And this is for the serious students only. And apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation and you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions and we'll see if indeed you are really serious or not. Thank you.